So another viewer request that I got was to take a look at Mighty Switch Force. This game has always been a game that I wanted to experience. So when I got the request to look at it, I said, why not? I mean, this game was created by one of my favorite indie developers, WayForward, and this game was critically acclaimed at the time and had a mode in Shantae's Half Genie Hero, which I forgot to mention in that review. So let's see if this is something I could recommend to you guys. Let's get into it. I am playing this on the Nintendo Switch via the Mighty Switch Force collection. Not only do you get the first game and its HD remake, Hyperdrive Edition, but you also get Mighty Switch Switch Force 2 and Academy. So this is a pretty sweet deal that you can take advantage of, and I highly recommend you do if you're looking to get into the series. Instead of making one long video, I wanted to focus on each game individually, with shorter videos. So with that being said, let's look into Mighty Switch Force 1. So like I stated, this collection gives you both versions of Mighty Switch Force 1, the original and the Hyperdrive Edition, which is what we're going to be looking at here. The graphics and visuals are improved, and you have additional content that the original game did not get. Personally speaking, I love how this game looks in the Hyperdrive Edition edition, but I did not care for the updated sprite for Patricia. Luckily, the game gives you the option to switch between her pixel art version and her modern version, which I appreciate. This game has a very basic story. It's literally a bunch of girls named the Hooligan Sisters who broke out of prison and it's up for Patricia to capture them so they do not wreak havoc all over the city. A game like this does not need a crazy complex story, so for me, this works completely fine. Now, the objective of each of the stages is to capture each of the sisters and move on to the next level. You do this by solving many stage puzzles and interacting with the stage's blocks. You are equipped with the siren helmet that allows you to switch what blocks are active and inactive. This mechanic is used in a very innovative way. It's all about timing in this game. This game also has some very head scratching puzzles and these stages are not that easy, so definitely take your time. You are also equipped with the buster gun, very similar to Mega Man. You can use this to take down stage enemies. The only issue I had with this was not being able to aim in multiple directions, but I guess that would make things a little too easy. Progression in this game is set up and best consumed on a mobile device in my opinion. This is why I recommend playing this on the Switch in short bursts. I can definitely see myself playing this at an airport or just to kill time in general. This game is not that long, but you'll definitely have repeat playthroughs of this game trying to beat your high score or the time spent in each level. Also, one thing that really stood out to me was the music. The soundtrack of this game is fantastic. One thing I've always enjoyed about Way 4 titles is the music always enhanced the experience for me. The game has great presentation of both the looks and feel departments, so no complaints there. So overall, Mighty Switch Force is a great game to have in your collection. The gameplay is engaging and requires levels of critical thinking from the player. The music is amazing and fits the overall vibe of the game perfectly, and I love the overall design of the characters. Way 4's style of character models are always charming to see on screen. Next time we come back to the series, we'll be looking at Mighty Switch Force 2, followed by Academy. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.